Imagine you and your best friend are really poor. And losers. <laughs> Big <laughs> losers. And you're so poor, in fact, that you moved in with the most popular kid in school, and you and your little friend have been scheming so much that you got invited to the biggest party ever. Yeah! Let's find out. I'm in the car with a popular dude whose house I'm living at because I don't have any money. He stopped the car about a mile short of the school, and I'm saying, whoa, what are we doing here? <sighs> dropping you off. But we're about half a mile from the school. I know, listen, there's something important I have to tell you and you're not gonna like it. Like I said, I've got an image to maintain and I don't want people to see me with you in the car. What? Penny, help me! Oh, wait, what's the big deal? Like, what, you have rabies or something? Maybe I can even say like, I'd be an upgrade for you. Ooh, yes, yes. <laughs> Try to fit in, you know? Bang. Please, I'd be an upgrade for you. That's just it. People can't know we live together. They wouldn't understand and they might get ideas. Like there's so many prettier girls than you and I just can't. What, what, what sort of ideas? I don't know, like maybe that we're sleeping together or something. I can't have people thinking that. <gasps> no! Anyway, for both our sakes, I'm gonna have to ask you to walk from here. Ah, what do I do? Uh, hello, uh, let him know what he's missing out on. But he's been such a jerk! Okay, you know what? Leave him, but give him a piece of your mind. <laughs> I'm actually sad. Like, I kind of want to just leave without saying anything, to be honest. You know what? You would. Yeah, yeah. Non-confrontational. I hate Parker Lockwood more than anyone else in the world. I hope I never talk to him again as long as I live. He was so nice to me yesterday. He showed me his little hidden hideout with, with mushrooms that glow or something like that. Glowing fungus. Exactly. Oh, I better hurry. I'm going to be late for class. Penny, he dropped me 10 minutes up the road and made me walk. Ah, that's so embarrassing. I know! I mean, to be honest, like the feeling was mutual. I don't want to hang out with an idiot like that. And I was so traumatized, I didn't even stand up for myself. You know what? Ignore that. We still have Dustin's party. True. Hey. Hey, Oscar. What's up? Not much. Just, you know, haven't seen you both since last year. Yeah, I heard you started coming out over the summer. Congrats. Thanks. My parents were super cool about it. Oh, Oscar, you're living your best life. Oscar came out and his parents like it. Wish I could say the same about the students here, especially Bella Dupree. Wait, <sighs> Bella aka Karen is bullying him for that? Nuh uh. Speaking of which, I heard you really stuck it to Bella at the bar last night. Too cool. Oh, me? <laughs> this little thing? It was no big deal. That's not what I heard. Anyway, are you guys going to Dustin's party tomorrow? Because I was also invited. Penny, we going, girl? Uh, yeah, you, you can bet your butt we're going. <laughs> too cool, too cool. Maybe I'll catch you there. See you guys. Oscar, if anybody picks on you, I would die for Oscar. If anybody picks on him, they're dead. Wow, it's happening. It's finally happening. Our chance in the starlight. What's happening? People are finally starting to notice us, and it's all thanks to you. And so I said, hey, girl, it's not really working out. And uh, Hey, are you even listening? Huh? No, not really. Listen, who is that guy talking to Luna over there? Who? Luna! Like, over there! Like her! Oh, that girl. That's Luna James. She saved me from Koba Kabari. Yeah, I know who she is, dumb nuts, but who is the dude? I don't know, probably your boyfriend, I guess. Anyway, I gotta bounce. See you later. Yeah, sure. Is she dating someone? A stalker much? Yeah, I thought you hated me, you jerk. That night, I'm hanging out in my room, but I can't sleep again. Oh, maybe a quick walk around the house will do the trick. I'm not hanging out with Parker that- Oh, he's in a towel! Well, look who it is. Why are you lurking in a darkened hallway without a shirt? I just finished working out. I was gonna take a shower. You wanna join? Um... Well, I mean, Penny would say sure, but we're a little mad at him right now. We are, but like... Let's say yes. I'm tempted. <laughs> I'm tempted. Do it! Okay, sure. <laughs> Won't your boyfriend be mad? Boyfriend? What do you mean? Oh, don't pretend. I saw you two together today. I asked around. His name's Oscar. Oh, Oscar, he's not my boyfriend. So it's an open relationship then? No, it's not anything. Oscar's in a boy's and a story. Oh, I see. Are you into girls? I just said I'd shower with you. I see you with that Patricia girl a lot. No, I'm not. And her name is Penny. So you're like single? Wait, did Parker just ask me if I'm single? Is he flirting with me? Uh, play hard to get. I'm doing it. Parker Lockwood, are you trying to flirt with me? Like, come on, I thought we were gonna go shower. Flirt? <laughs> no, I was just teasing. I love how you're playing hard to get, but you're going to take a shower with him. <laughs> I must have called him on his bluff. Mixed signals. <laughs> I just figured, like, since we're living together now, it'd be good to get to know each other a little better is all. Nice try, you were so flirting with me. You know what, maybe you ought to take that shower all by yourself. And Parker, make sure it's a cold shower. You stink and you're disgusting. Oh, ooh, ooh, that fire burns. The next day, 
So, do you regret not hopping in the shower with me? Not in the slightest, and please keep your eyes on the road. You do realize that every girl in school would have jumped at the chance. I did jump at the chance, what are you talking about? Good for them. You know, I don't get you. Here you are, like the poorest girl in school. You're ugly, you're stupid, you hardly have any friends, and yet you're the one girl who doesn't want me. Oh, am I hurting your ego? Penny, what do I say? You have to say, wow, I wonder why. Yes, wow. I wonder why? After all, you're so charming. Hey, I'm not saying anything you don't already know. And I'm not judging, believe me. I don't care about money or popularity. Is that why you dropped me off a mile away? You gotta be kidding me. No, I swear. I mean, I could have just as easily been born as poor as you. And we both know that in this town, the more money you have, the more popular you are. It's all luck of the draw and I just got lucky. Then why do you play it up so much if it doesn't matter to you? What else am I supposed to do? Everyone in this town is obsessed with money and power and I've got both. So like, <laughs> you know, why not use them? But not you, you're different. You've got like, ah, uh, what's the word? Integrity? Self-respect? You know what, I like that they don't have a word for what I've got. Yeah, girl, they don't have a word, so. Ooh, Parker approves. You see, nobody I hang out with would say that, you know? Face it, you're different, Luna. So you do know my name. Yeah, yeah, I guess I do. Oh, well, cute. Wait, did, did you make it to school? I made, oh, nope. <laughs> Well, here we are at your drop-off point. I'll pick you up from here after school if you want. Just text me, all right? Well, aren't you just the worst nice guy ever? Yeah, I like that one. Idiot. Hey, Wonder Woman. What's the hurry? Oh, hey, girl. What's up? So, how are things going at home? How's Parker? Any hanky-panky? Uh, no, I tried, but it's going all right, I guess. Any showers? I wish. Did Captain Fancy Pants drop you down the road again? I mean, yeah, he did, but like... Great, then he's only just kind of an a-hole. Yeah, I guess. Now for the big question. What are you going to wear to the party? Wear? I, I don't know, I haven't really thought about it. I, oh shoot. Haven't really thought about it? Come on, this is the biggest night of our young lives. Okay, you're right. We have to look bomb or we're going to bomb. You're right, I'll think of something. Well, think quick because we've only got one more period before the end of the day. So, you know, put yourself together. Ah, it's the party tonight? Yup! Yeah. Hey Luna, you uh, got a minute? Uh, no, I kinda wanna think about what's going on for the party. No, 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 uh-uh, uh-uh, Penny. Okay, fine. For you, of course. I haven't really got to talk to you since the other night at the bar. Oh gosh, sorry you had to see that. Are you kidding? I thought you were awesome. Really? Yeah, you weren't there for the aftermath, but everybody left. You totally ruled the evening. Speaking of evenings, are you going to this Dawson guy's party? I don't know, I haven't decided yet, and I'd really prefer if you didn't go because I'm trying to get with Parker and you at the same time, and I can't have you together in the same room. I think you should go. It sounds like it's gonna be big. Are you gonna be there? I will be if you are. Maybe we'll stop by for a few minutes. Okay, so like, don't, don't like come all the way, cause like, I'm just gonna be there for a bit. You should, and if you do, we can show these rich kids how to really party. Oh yeah, because there's a difference. Oh, girl. Oh, if you could have seen how I grew up, there's a difference. I may be new, but I know the school isn't ready for my super secret dance moves. Oh, okay. Ooh. I don't know about that. I can't believe that you live here now. This is amazing. Well, you know what? That, <coughs> that makes two of us. So cool. This is so beautiful. Anyway, I'll pick you up at 7.30, so see you soon and be ready. Okay, I'm gonna get ready, and last time you wore like garbage to the club, so this time you better be cute. And remember, last time you showered, so you better shower this time. Okay, fine. And for the love of God, wear something lit, okay? Okay, I'll try. You better be cute too. Oh, it's no use, my whole wardrobe sucks. Maybe I should just tell Penny I can't go. Hello? I hope I'm not interrupting. No, it's fine, what do you want, mom? Is everything all right? No, it's not. Does it look like I'm okay, mom? Sorry, it's just, there's a big party tonight and I have nothing to wear and I think I'm just gonna stay home. Hmm, well, that's totally up to you, but it'd be a shame to waste this perfectly good dress I bought you. A dress? Mom? I'm so sorry I was mean to you. I mean, I got you a little something. Here, try it on. Mom! Oh my God. Are you crazy? You look incredible. What do you think? Do you like it? Mom, I did not expect you to step up your game and buy me something this low cut. I love it. I think mom likes living in the mansion. She wants it to get Parker. <laughs> oh, mom, don't worry. I got you. I love it, but we can't afford this. Don't worry about that. Mrs. Lockwood has been very generous with all the money we're saving on rent. It's fine. Besides, you've been so good throughout all of this. I thought you deserved it little something. I hate how the one time I flip out on her is the time that she has a gift for me. Ugh. She really wants me to have it. I'm so wearing this dress. I'm so glad. Now I want you to have a good time tonight and be safe. I will. Oh, I mean, uh, no guarantees, but here we go. Oh my goodness, these kids all live in such big houses. Oh, 
Oh, I'm wearing a dress. Penny! This is it, our first house party. I'm so ready. You look amazing, by the way. The dress is off the hook. You were totally holding out on me when I asked you to borrow something. <laughs> anyway, let's go mingle. I forgive you. Come on, Luna, it's a party. Cut loose. Uh, okay, fine. Woo! Who's that? Is that Penny and what's her name? Um, Luna? Yeah, boys. Get a load of this. Whoa, she is smoking hot. Don't you think, Parker? <clears throat> I'll say. I, I mean, sure, if you're into that sort of look. Anyway, I'm gonna go get a drink. Oh my goodness, look who it is. Ah, he's totally psyched to see you. Let's go say hi. He better not follow me around like a lost puppy dog all night. <sighs> okay. Hey, you Kate. You look incredible. Thanks, you don't look so bad yourself. This is Brad, by the way. He goes to Skybridge College. Did someone say college? Oh, Penny. That's right, I just started. And uh, you are? Hmm, Brad is totally Penny's type. She loves the little nerds. And the boys? She could use a good wingman right now. I'm gonna give you the most stellar intro ever. Oh my God, you better. This, my dears, is Penny Myers. She's absolutely amazing and one of the best actors in our school. No way, I'm an actor too. <laughs> What's your favorite play? Cats. You know, meow. No way, my, mine too. What do you say we leave these two alone and grab a drink? Sure, I'll be back in a minute. Will you be okay here, Penny? Yeah, I'll be fine. You better be. So, tell me about yourself, Penny. Do you have all day? <laughs> I'm really glad you came tonight. Well, I don't think I'll stay long, so I think you should leave too. Really? Well, why not? I don't know, it's just not really my scene. Don't worry, it's not really mine either. But since we're here, we might as well have fun. What do you say? You're right, we're at a party, let's have some fun. What are you making on the stove? These shots are called, you know, bonking on the beach. Um, I mean, I really hope you didn't come up with that name. That's horrible. Who names these things? I don't know, they're delicious and they pack a punch. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. Cheers. So what, what'd you think? <coughs> it's awful, it tastes like motor oil. Can I have another? <laughs> I have to admit, I actually am having fun. I wonder how Penny's doing. Oh, Penny! Mm -hmm. Hell, oh, what do you say we take this upstairs? Okay. Wow, easy. <laughs> Maybe I should play a little hard to get. <laughs> so I guess we're no longer neighbors, huh? How could he possibly know that? I haven't told anybody. What makes you say that? I went by your house and it was all boarded up. Oh, evicted signs all over. Well, I don't want you to know where I live now because I want to be able to play both of you at the same time. But as a matter of fact, I did. My mother and I ran into some financial troubles and we moved in with a friend. It's only temporary though. Do I know this friend of yours? Ah, no, I don't, I don't think you do. Oh, well, sorry to hear it. I was just getting used to being neighbors. Anyway, like I said, it's only temporary. I'll be back before you know it, so please don't come to my new house. Good. I'll be waiting. Well, good. Well, I better get back to Penny. She's probably wondering where I am. No, I'm not. Gotcha. Anyway, the evening's just starting. Maybe I'll see you later? Um, maybe. If I still like you later. <laughs> Whoa, was that even a whisper? Yeah, I didn't know. I did not know that it was gonna be that rude. Penny, where is she? I wasn't gone that long. <laughs> Look who it is. I hardly recognize you in that dress. I gotta say, you clean up pretty good. Isn't it against the law for you to speak to me in public or something? Uh, it's more of a guideline than a law. Besides, laws are made to be broken. Oh, shut up. Have you seen Penny? The girl you came with? Yeah, she went off somewhere with that college kid, Dick or Brad or whatever. Um, do you know where they went? I think they went upstairs. Upstairs? Penny! Whoa, I'm sure she's fine. She looked like she was having fun. Listen, I love Penny like a sister, but she's boy crazy and not exactly capable of making great decisions. I need to go find her. Hold up, I'll come with you. I'm perfectly capable of finding her on my own, thank you. Hey, I'm sure you are, but this house is like a maze and I know it like the back of my hand. Don't you have an adoring public that needs you? Sure I do, but they're boring and I'd much rather get to know you better. Oh wow, so I put on a nice dress once and oh, I can't believe it. Is Parker being chivalrous? I thought he only cared about himself. Is that what it is? Is it chivalry? I don't think so. I think that he just likes the dress. I think you're just being positive. Anyway, go look for me. Go look for me with him. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, fine, you can come, but no funny stuff. Of course, now move on, I know where they're at. Hey, is that her? Penny! Penny, no! Penny, no! Looks like they're doing all right to me, other than having us watch them. Come on, let's give them some privacy. Do you really think she'll be all right? Sure, I mean, it's not like it's against the law to make out at a party. If it was, I'd be on death row. Ho ho ho. I suppose you're right. Speaking of which, there's an empty room down the hall if you're interested. What? Don't worry, I'm just kidding. I know you're practically a nun. Frigid. What's that supposed to mean? It's just that as far as I can tell, you don't really seem to be attracted to anything. Like you'll ever find out. Come on, get out of here. Aren't you busy, Penny? Hey, forget all that. I'm starting to wonder if you're alive at all. What do you mean? Kiss me, right here, right now. Kiss me! Prove to me that you're not afraid to live a little. I don't have to prove anything to you, Parker Lockwood, but...
Okay, well, Penny just peeked out of the door. You have to kiss her just to prove it to her. Okay, I'm a little bit jealous that you're like getting some and I'm not, so I'm just gonna go ahead. Fine, come here. I'll show you a kiss that'll put some hair on your chest. Whoa, I stand corrected. That was, that was... Parker, I've been looking all over for you. Bella, oh, how long have you been standing here? I just got here. Why? Did I miss something? Uh, no, nothing happened here. Anyway, I really need your help with something. Uh, can it wait? No, it can't. Well, it looks like I gotta go for a sec. Oh, what, what are you, like a little puppy? Are you cool? Yeah, I'm fine. Go. I'll just listen to Penny through the door. Man, what a night. Penny ends up making out with some college dude and Parker convinces me to kiss him and I still end up alone on the roof. Story of my life. Hey, are you alright? Ah! Don't sneak up on people like that! Sorry, I just saw you coming out here so I wanted to see if you were alright. Yeah, I'm fine. I just need a little fresh air is all. Where's your boyfriend? Why does everyone keep thinking I have a boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend. Really? A pretty girl like you? I find that hard to believe. Listen, I think I want to go back in now. Like, I'm really hurt and let down. Oh, come on. Stay outside with me. That night is so beautiful and so are you, babe. Alright, yeah, I'm definitely going inside. Don't you want to have some fun? Ew, you're disgusting! Get off of me! You creep! I'm serious, stop it! Yo, what the heck are you doing? Uh, we're just having some fun. What's the big deal? She doesn't look like she's having fun to me. Danny, you are leaving this party now. And believe me, I'll make sure you're never invited to another party in this town. Oh no, why? You alright? I'll be fine, don't worry. I'm still mad at you for leaving me for Karen. I came back to find you and saw you were gone. And I saw Danny headed out here. That guy's bad news. Then why do you hang out with him? I won't anymore, not after what he did to you. Trust me, he was five seconds away from needing a hospital. I can take care of myself. I can believe that, Luna. I just couldn't say nothing. But seeing what he did makes me angrier than I've ever felt about anything before. Anyway, come on, I'll drive you and Penny home. Get in. <gasps> you remember my name! What? Now you want to drive us home? Now you're defending me? I wear a pretty dress once and my status changes. Penny! Oh my god, hey. Sorry. Parker's gonna drive me home and he said he'd give you a ride too. I think I'm gonna stay, but you go. Penny! Are you crazy? I'm not just gonna leave you here, come on. No, I'm staying here with, uh, with Brad. Penny, I don't think you're okay. You're not my father. And just because your father's dead doesn't mean you have to act like mine, okay? Penny! What? That is so mean! Luna! Oh man, what a night. Five messages from Penny? What do you want, Penny? Luna, I am so sorry about last night. Okay. Please, I don't know what came over me. That was really rude. I definitely had way too much to drink and I said some things I deeply regret. I'm so sorry. Girl, I know that you're boy crazy, but like saying that to me because I'm trying to pull you away. Please, 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 please forgive me, please. <sighs> Penny seems really sorry, but it doesn't change the fact she said those things. Still, she's my best friend and she seems legitimately sorry. Hmm. Forgive her, but tell her not to do it again. Forgive her and reassure her that you're still besties. Don't forgive her. Ooh, that'd be kind of nasty. Don't you dare. <laughs> Fine, but I'm telling her not to do it again. Of course I forgive you, you're my best friend. We all make mistakes. Thanks, Luna, you're the best. Just don't let it happen again, okay? I won't, I promise. I will never say that again again. Anyway, I've got a ton of news to tell you about last night. Cool, can't wait to hear it. Huh? Who could that be? Just a second, somebody's at the door. I'll call you later, okay? Okay, don't forget. Talk to you soon, bye. Hey, hon, how's the party? Mom, nice outfit. It was all right. Just all right? Why? Did something happen? No, it was fine, Mom. Was Parker there? Mom! He was. Oh, good. I think it's great that you two are becoming friends. I wouldn't exactly call us friends, but sure. Anyway, the reason I'm barging in is because the Lockwoods are having a barbecue today. What? Where? Here? Yes, they're setting it up now. Apparently it's an annual tradition of theirs. A few of your school friends are here already. My school friends? Yeah, it's gonna be quite an event. They call it the Lockwood End of the Summer Spectacular. Is that why you're all dressed up? Yes, do you like it? Loretta gave it to me to wear at the party. Where's mine? Yours? Well, I I'm sorry, dear, she didn't have one for you. You could go ask. Mom, I'm your size, give it to me. Fine, I'll scrounge something up. Anyway, I'll let you get ready. Oh man, just what I need. Who is it? Parker? Hey, hope you're decent. For the record, knocking and being invited in are not the same thing. What do you want? And why are you dressed like you just stepped out of Miami Vice? It's our annual barbecue today. Yeah, I just heard. Real nice of you to mention it last night. Sorry about that. I totally thought you knew. We've been organizing it for weeks. Well, I just moved in, didn't I? Yeah, well, sorry, I guess. Anyway, if you don't mind, I need to find something to wear so I don't embarrass myself in front of the entire school. Well, see, that's kind of why I decided to stop by. I figured you might not have an outfit. So I stopped by a place and picked you up a little something. W wait, you? Parker Lockwood went and bought me, Luna James, an outfit? 
And it's not like a garbage bag with the words poverty girl written on it? No, nope, it's a real outfit from a real store. You got a problem with that? How do you know my size? Yeah, how do you know my size? I didn't, I just bought every size they had in stock. Oh, Parker! Here, try it on and see if it fits. Parker! <gasps> Thank you! I look so hot. Whoa, you look... You better not say bad. That's certainly not the word that comes to mind. I was thinking more like... Gorgeous? You think I look gorgeous? Well, that's not a matter of thinking anything, it's a straight up fact. Please say you'll wear that to the barbecue. This is the first time I've actually seen Parker actually try to be nice to somebody. Oh girl, I'm wearing his outfit to the barbecue. Oh yeah. Well, you did say please. Great, you're gonna be the hottest thing at the barbecue. Parker, I think you like me. I think being together made his heart grow fonder. Anyway, I'll give you another minute to get ready and I'll see you down there. Okay, I just don't understand. Am I invited or what? Hopefully. Here I am at the barbecue. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't see Penny. Penny wasn't invited, so it's just me. What is she doing here? And what is she wearing? She looks amazing. I'll say. Who needs a grill? She's hot enough to cook on. Parker, did you invite that trailer trash? No, her mother is uh, a friend with my mom, so she invited them. Parker! What are you gonna do, right? Like, I, I didn't choose. This is gonna suck. Here goes nothing. All right, fine, Penny. Here goes nothing. Luna, what are you doing here, Tony? Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Same to you. That outfit's amazing. Thanks, I wish I didn't wear it. Where'd you get it? Uh, okay, why do you care? Yeah, nowhere. Leave me alone. Well, you look great. You're friends with the Lockwoods? And you live with them? Shut up, why are you so nosy? Nobody has to know that I live with Peter Lockwood. This place is crazy. I know, I... <sighs> Yeah, anyways, get out of my face, you creep. Actually, I don't have any friends here, so I'm gonna give you a little tour. This is the ballroom where me and Parker are gonna dance the night away. Once he's not embarrassed of me anymore. This is the garden where they grow fruit that I eat when I'm hungry in the middle of the night. This is the library where nobody here has ever picked up a single book once in their lives. And this is the pool house. Wow, I can't believe how rich these people are. Seriously, what's it like living here? I, I mean, living with Parker. I don't know, it's weird, that's for sure. There's nothing going on there, is there? This guy's aggressive. He's not as bad as I thought. Leave me alone. I thought he was the devil, so. So you like him? I tolerate him, there's a difference. Oh, it's my mom. Oh, aren't you going to introduce me to your handsome friend? Oh. Um, this is Tony. He's new in town. I was just showing him around. Hi, Luna's mom. Please, call me Amelia. Well, I'd better get back. Welcome to Willow Hill, young man. Well, thanks, mom, for that. That was very useful. She's nice. I get where you get it from. Shut up. Stop complimenting me. Who even are you? Now that these two are here, I might have to actually start hitting on Tony to make him jealous. Oh, look, Parker, your house has rats. You should call the exterminator. It's one thing for Bella to insult me at school, but I live here. Stand up to Bella. Doing it. Yeah, while you're at it, maybe give the 90s a call, too. It was looking for its tacky highlight job and utter lack of personality. Nice Karen haircut. Why, you little- Now, now, lady. This is supposed to be a party. Let's just try to have a good time, all right? What's gotten into you lately? Why are you defending these peasants? I just... That is... A... Don't worry, we were just leaving anyway. Enjoy. I wouldn't hang around her too much. You might become a nobody. I think we have different definitions of what nobody means, Bella. <gasps> How dare he? Wait up. Are you all right? Yeah, I just get so tired of Bella sometimes. I didn't know that she and Parker were here together. You mean like together together? No way. Well, seemed like it. Parker plays the field and so does Bella. They just hook up whenever it's convenient. Sure fooled me. I think it's more of a status thing than anything else. Sounds like they deserve each other. Anyway, where to now? I mean, we could always go to my room. <laughs> We're going to my room, baby. I can't imagine Bella would barge in there. Lead the way. I hope they barge in. Why do you do things like that? Things like what? Chase rats out of your house? She's not a rat. I can't believe it, you're defending her? So what if I am? She hasn't done anything wrong apart from forgetting to be born rich. She's actually kinda cool once you get to know her. Oh my goodness. You like her, don't you? Like her? No, I don't, that's just ridiculous. Isn't it? Uh, listen, actually I just remembered I gotta do something, so wait here, I'll be right back. Yeah, now he's gonna bust in on me and Tony! Yes! This place is great. Yeah, it was Mrs. Lockwood's office before we moved in. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, Luna. Oh. Why are you standing so close? You like standing close to me? <laughs> Ooh. I'm so doing this to make him jealous. Sorry. Listen, tell me if I'm overstepping my bounds here. I know I don't know you that well, but I know what I like. And with your permission, I'd like to get to know you better. I'd like that, actually. I'm doing such a bad person thing right now, but I have to. You would? Yeah, very much. Well, all right then. That's great. What do we do now? Make out. Oh, there's Parker. Oh. Oh, and he doesn't know that I've seen him yet. Here's my chance to make him jealous. Oh, I'm doing it. I have to. Penny. Yeah, you have to. The lips. The lips. I'm doing it. On the lips. Right on the mouth. Mm. You just made Parker jealous. Hey, new kid. Oh, oopsies. What are you doing up here? 
Uh, we were just, uh... Yeah! Well, I think you should leave. She's clearly not into you. I was just kissing him, Parker. You can't make that decision for me. Excuse me? I'll be the judge of what I'm into and not into. Look, it's cool. It's his house. I don't want to cause any friction. I'll just call you later, all right? Okay, way to not have a spine. Tony, I wish you stuck up for yourself because, yeah, you're spineless. Get out of here. See ya. Bye. Thanks for the free kiss. Are you all right? What the hell has gotten into you? What are you talking about? He had his grubby hands all over you. Yeah, because I let him. You... You let him? Yeah, just because I'm not into you doesn't mean I don't like other guys. Or did that not ever occur to you? You only think about yourself. Oh, okay, look, I'm sorry, I, th I thought- I'm just gonna be mean to him, screw it. Thought? Thinking isn't your strong suit. I know exactly what you thought. You thought, there's a guy putting the moves on a girl and it's not me. Look, it's not like that, okay? Yeah? Then how is it? Well, yeah, I thought so. Look, just leave me alone, okay? Fine. Bye, Parker. What has gotten into him lately? Ever since last night, he's been acting so strange. That night. Ooh, insomnia time! Whoa, what are you doing in my room? Luna, wake up! Luna, oh my goodness, what are you doing in here? Sorry, I tried to text you, but you didn't respond. Yeah, I was sleeping for the first time in my life! Listen, I need to talk to you about something super important. Can't I wait until morning? It's been a really long day. No, I can't. Penny, what do I do? Okay, you'll play along. Why can't this wait? Okay. Why can't this wait? Because I don't think I'll have the courage in the morning to tell you what I need to tell you. Hmm, that sounds serious. Whoa. I've never seen him like this before. I wonder if it has something to do with how he responded to Tony and I together. Oh, girl. I have to listen, right, Penny? We're listening. All right, what is it? Not here. I've been stuck in this house all day. Where are we going? Some place special. I told you, the fungus cave. Penny, it's not the cave. Oh, no. All right, so we're out of the house. Now, what's so important? I wanted to apologize. That's it? That's what was so important that you had to wake me up in the middle of the night? You don't understand. I'm not usually like that. What do you mean? I mean, when I see other guys macking on girls, I usually don't care. With you, it's different. With you, I... With me, it's what? I don't know, all right? I don't know how to put it. All I know is that I haven't stopped thinking about you since I saw him with his arms around you. <gasps> okay. Are you being serious right now? Are you... Yeah, are you... Are you being serious? Or is this another one of your games? I'm more serious now than I've ever been in my life. Luna, you're not like anyone I've ever met. When I'm with you, it's like, it's like the world makes sense to me. When I'm with you, I can see myself the way you see me and I hate the way I am. When I'm with you, I wanna be so much better. Parker? When I'm with you, I don't wanna be with anyone else in the world. Parker, I- Kiss him. I have to. Penny, don't tell anyone that I'm kissing everybody. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? I don't know. What does this mean about tomorrow? About school? I mean, this will change everything. I don't know. Then let's stay up a little longer because I know you're going to drop me off a mile away tomorrow. Okay. Oh, girl, that's the end. That being said, I feel like we know where this is going now. Like, I, I feel like it's there's no need to continue this story. But I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please go and check out Nora's channel. She uploaded an episode as well that we had so much fun with. Yes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you push notifications if you'd like to see me again. And I will see you on the next one. Bye. Say bye, Nora. Bye. Love you. Thank you. <laughs>